Hi everyone, my name is Mitch Leitner and I am an application scientist with NanoScience Instruments. Today I will be walking through how to adjust the beam settings and briefly describe their applications. I will be demonstrating on the G2 Phenom XL, but these methods work on any Phenom SEM. You can adjust the beam settings from the data bar at the bottom of the screen by left clicking on the blue text and selecting which setting that you want. All the standard settings discussed in this video can be manipulated here. Accelerating voltage determines the energy at which the electrons are shot at the sample. Different accelerating voltages have different beam sample interactions. There are three standard settings for accelerating voltages. These are 5 kV, 10 kV, and 15 kV. 5 kV is the lowest standard accelerating voltage. 5 kV does not penetrate deeply into the sample surface, so it provides great surficial information. 5 kV is great for imaging delicate samples or the shallow surface of samples, much like this piece of sandpaper. 10 kV is our best accelerating voltage setting for standard imaging. It generates high signal and very little noise, so it provides high quality images. 10 kV is the most used accelerating voltage for most applications, including analyzing this fiber sample here. 15 kV is our highest standard accelerating voltage. It's powerful enough to generate characteristic X-rays that are crucial for EDS elemental analysis, which is its primary use. Beam intensity determines the number of electrons that are allowed to interact with the sample. This is also referred to as the current of the electron beam. There are four standard settings for beam intensity. These are low, image, point, and map. Each of these settings are labeled for which application they are most optimal for. A beam intensity of image is great for standard imaging. It is our second lowest beam intensity, but it produces a high amount of signal in images with high resolution. Image intensity is our most commonly used setting for the majority of imaging applications. Point beam intensity is our second highest beam intensity. It generates an even greater amount of signal than image intensity, allowing for images with much higher contrast. This setting is used primarily for EDS spot analysis, but can also be used for imaging certain materials. Map beam intensity is our highest beam intensity and is used almost exclusively for EDS mapping as it generates the highest amount of signal. This signal generation allows for a large number of counts per second, which is vital for quickly populating an EDS map. For our experienced users, there are a couple of extra settings accessible to you in advanced mode. To access the beam settings menu, left click the blue arrow at the top of the screen. This will drag down the beam settings menu. At the bottom of this menu, there is a button that will allow you to enter the password for advanced mode. When in advanced mode, you can choose your specific accelerating voltage value from 4.8 to 20.5 kV and your specific beam intensity from 1.9 to 5.8. I hope this video helped gain insight into the workings and applications of the beam settings of Phenom SEMs. Stay tuned for more videos in the Phenom SEM series, and if you have any questions about Phenoms, please contact us. See you in the next video.